hello guys what is going on yo so this video is going to be a really interesting one i'm going to talk about two different concepts one the mia dictionary that matt versus japan and yoga put out um, two morph man's readability analyzer and its possible usages so let's get started in a little video so as you can see on my screen i've got two things i've got my sentence mining deck and i've got an mi add-on right here and what i want to show you is just how easy it is to just get on and do things so i'll show you my previous method and i'll show you the way i do it now so here here we have g show and the previous way i do it is okay let's study a card and i'm like okay cool i'm kind of unsure about it but i think it means both hands so i'm going to She's short and, I, and yeah, it just means both hands. So I know this, um, I'll just click the K button. Like, you know, so the whole process was going here, control C and then pasting it here and then clicking the search button, right? And then you're probably thinking, oh man, like, that's kind of long. What the MI dictionary does is that, you know, you can just highlight, sorry, you can just highlight and then click control S, boom. And then um, if you wanted to put it in the card, even before you've seen the back of the card, you can just, you just click this one thing, boom and the back of the card is already there man simple so with these stars it shows that you know how frequent the word comes up so five stars essentially means it's within the first five thousand most common words four stars means it's within the first ten thousand common words and three stars means it's within the first fifteen thousand um, most common words so you basically want to work with you know five to three star words as those are the most common things you're going to be coming across if you're relatively you know beginner to intermediate kind of level but then when you get further than that you'll be seeing a lot more two star and one star words yeah that's pretty damn cool so you can just rip your cards like that but because i already know this i can just click already known to so the k key um todoke um that literally just means to receive so todoke ni kitan dakero like basically skip that kojin as individual but kojin teki that's probably still individual that's a bit annoying because i've got three kind of ones so that can happen sometimes hossa <laughs> teki nani kore damn seizure okay that's cool and yeah you put you basically just get a gist of that that's basically how you can use the mi dictionary when it comes to putting things in and all that sort of stuff when you want to set it up to you know like put things into certain fields you can basically change what fields you want to put it in by this long list i just clicked meaning and it goes into my meaning field what i want to talk about next though is something which is very very interesting which is the Morphman's readability analyzer. So if you use Morphman, then you have the little things here. You know the K number, the V number, and the K number is basically each individual word in its base form, and then the V number is all the different words with the different types of variations in total. So as you can see, I have like six thousand five hundred and twelve of unique words, and then you know all the different forms of the different words to the right. So um, let's just say, okay, cool. I want to jump on readability analyzer, and you're brought up with this screen. You just like, what the hell's going on? What I want you to do is just like take these off. Let's get the master frequency list. So I'm going to use the one one I'm using in general as a frequency list for Morphland. And then, so I want to just go onto our anime subs list and let's just load up Shikatsaki Mioso. And I'm like, okay, cool. And I just want to analyze. So, what pops up? So, this is what pops up. And what you really want to focus is, is what's on the last column and that's essentially just percentage readability and this is how much you how many words how many words and how many morphs you know from the show so you can see i've got like over 80 percent in most of shikatsu wakimi no uso so what this could be good for is like let's just say you just want to know like how many potential words you might know in a show because you want to know whether you can you know immerse in that show and it's relatively comprehensible um this could give you a decent idea of whether a show is comprehensible or not like let's just say if it's above like 80 or 90 then it can be a good source to just immerse yourself in you can use that as a guideline i mean the only way that could possibly trip you up is let's just say you watching a show it's got that like 80 readability though you know your actual 
comprehension levels for whatever grammar patterns, whatever's being explained there is not the greatest or you don't have too much experience listening to Japanese in different forms, like, you know, whether it's mumbled, whispered, not spoken very clearly, difference in, difference in different accents and voices, you know, all that sort of stuff. Your actual comprehension of the show may not represent this, but it could be a good guideline, um, especially if you're using something like a book in terms of what you're inputting here to get your said readability. Because if it's a book, then It'll be relatively straightforward you just put your book in and when you read you know you're reading exactly what you see so maybe it'll be a good representation for that but let's just try some more shows like hunt x hunt are all like 148 damn episodes like best show um okay so let's, <laughs> let's load this up so it's going through all 148 come on come on come on come on come on and you can see it definitely varies. So this just the last column. It definitely varies per episode. Like I've got some which are just in the 85s, others which are like 70. That would be interesting if I watched for episode 35. Um, it's not quite episode 47. What's episode 47 saying? 80% um, comprehension. Like you know, like Uvo versus Kuro Picker. I'm telling you, man, that's some good stuff. But um, <laughs> so um, yeah, it just it just varies. Something what I find really really interesting is a Essentially, let's just say there's two alleyways where my comprehension in terms of vocabulary isn't the best. And you'd think it'll be something like Psychopass, right? Psychopass is very technical. It talks about, you know, new society, crime coefficient, and all of that sort of nice techy stuff, which is very interesting. And then it seems like readability is quite okay with that. And I'm very surprised compared to something what a lot of people may, may crap on. And that would be our legendary Sword Art Online, you know? <laughs> So let's jump on and start a line, click analyze and that. And then you just see that my readability is like freaking 65%. I mean, this is mostly because like there's a lot of MMO kind of like specific vocab there, gaming vocab, but maybe I haven't come across that as much. Though there's one episode here where it's like 86%, so I'm like, hmm, episode 22, maybe it's more of a slice of life episode. I, I have no idea. But another anime where it seems like my comprehension isn't the greatest would be... How Steins Gate? Because Steins Gate has a lot of, like, you know, technical things going on. Yeah, Steins Gate is also pretty bad as well. Steins Gate is a... Um, very technical, very technical stuff it feels, but it's, it's one of the best anime as well, like definitely check that out. So where does Shingeki no Kyojin? I think Shingeki no Kyojin is so-so. I thought it was so-so, I swear, I'm reading the manga and some of the words there I'm like, nani? Uh, but I guess <laughs> it's probably like the 10-20% to 20 of the words that I may not know, or words that I may have to like re- um, search up because I'm a little bit rusty on them, so you know, doing my own kind of SRS when I'm repping. So, um, yeah, lastly, something what I want to talk about is the MIA vacation add on and the schedule add on. It's in beta right now, but it's done a pretty good job for this deck. So, this deck before used to get like 50 to 60 uh, reviews every day. But then I run the schedule add-on and it reduced it down to like mid-20s, which is like literally half the reviews what I'm doing. How it works is basically what happens is that it looks through all of your cards, checks the random fuzz factor, and then uses this to basically spread your cards across a period of time. And then it prioritizes cards with smaller intervals and it pushes the cards with larger intervals a bit further into the future without hurting your retention rate. So that's basically how it happens. I mean, it's not the first load balancer, but I guess it's the first load balancer that a lot of people may have heard of. So um, this load balancer is good if you're doing like, you know, a bunch of new cards and you probably have like too many reviews and you just want to lower it down so you can decrease, you know, your Anki stress and you don't get into Anki hell, as they may call it. So it's cool. I heard that kind of puts together like you know the Loki Anki as well as um, the scheduling functionality but um, it also incorporates some new features like the sick day catch up um, and etc but I'm not going to talk about that you can check out Matt versus Japan's videos about that what I'm basically going to talk about is 
our vacation add-on. So literally all you have to do is just click run daily on profile blog, so whatever, and you can do the deal on the deck level or the profile level and make sure to maintain it 250%. It kind of keeps your ease level at the same level so you don't go into ease hell. And ease hell is basically when your cards just get lost in the algorithm. But yeah, that's basically it. You just click apply and all you have to do is click the optimize schedule button and then things are scheduled and that's that. Again, this is in beta release. So if you don't know too much about this, you don't know too much about Loki, Anki and what the scheduling add-on can do i could just literally just give you a link inscription check that stuff out and learn about it more there really but it just reduces stress i probably talked a lot in this video and i'm trying my best to show off this new microphone what i purchased as well um yeah i'm trying my best to show off this new microphone what i purchased as well as i purchased this new microphone it was expensive two days afterwards it dropped in price screw that it's been a while since i did something like this first video of the year and i will hope to see you guys soon i hope this provides some kind of value if any questions in the comments and hit me up on twitter so see you later guys